Hello. Hello, Axel and Joel making outreach bags, huh, we? Yeah, all right, you can go ahead. We're gonna talk for a little bit, all right? Okay. Hello, everybody, Joel Blessed here. We're talking about our outreach bags. Let me show you a couple examples of what we do. Here we have an example of a bag. There's plenty of room in case I wanna put some socks or anything like that in it. And then another example, what I like to do, what, what has worked out for us, is to use some kind of chip or, you know, a goldfish, whatever it is. That way it's something crunchy, something they can snack on. And then I like to use um, either fruit cups, which we don't have for this outreach that I'm getting set for right now, or Vienna sausages, number one absolute favorite of all time of any snack they want the vienna sausages or you know some kind of meat stick we got this one here from costco and then i like to put in at least a couple of granola bars hopefully something i'll have the different variety so one of these is a neutral grain and then the other is like a soft and chewy and also something sweet be it these are some Mott's gummies they're pretty good or i use candy sometimes i'll I'll get candy, but in the summer, remember if you're trying to do outreach bags, whatever you take out there is gonna melt. So chocolate, no, no during the summer. In the winter months, that's okay. You can slide a piece of chocolate in there and stuff. And most importantly, you know, we're here to provide for need, you know, to get the food together, give them something for their bellies. But most importantly is the word of God. You see, we don't always have time, especially in our downtown outreach to sit there and share and pray with someone. They want their stuff and they want to get out of there. But we slide in this little thing called the big question. It's a little gospel track my dad wrote years ago. Y'all might remember him back in the day with the big question on it. But he combined this with the big question and is following Jesus on the other side. Once they accept Jesus, they know how now have a plan in a way where they can follow and learn and study. It's full of scripture. And of course, this one, leads them in the prayer of salvation. Hallelujah. See, ladies and gentlemen, um, yeah, I do this. Um, I do this at our home. One of the things that we have to do is, it doesn't matter what it is, if we don't have a team big enough, we have to do it ourselves. And I'm okay with that. I mean, I'll, I'll clean toilets, I'll do whatever it is. As long as we can pray, you know, hit people and bless them, and let them know that someone cares. And so we do our outreach bags and it doesn't take that long. You know, a little bit here, a little bit there. I typically take at least 80 to 100 out at each outreach. So that gives me an idea of the number of people that we're blessing and, and that we're dealing with. Um, and see, I also like to keep them a little, there's now room in here for socks or shampoos or whatever else we can stick in there at certain months, the beanies and stuff like that in the colder weather helps a lot but otherwise just getting a little something to eat makes a big deal makes a lot makes makes people happy it, it brings a smile to their face and it gives us the opportunity even though they might not stop for us to at least ask anything i can pray for you about today is there anything i can do for you today so just a general just i'm gonna come in with a little more um practical videos that we of things that we do in inspire hope outreach praying that someday you will also come up with something and you can make a little bag, make a little something, go to an area that you know that there's a need and provide them something. I don't do cooking. I'll leave that to people who are better than me. So the snack foods and stuff like that. If you want to donate some snacks, oh man, you can really bless us. We buy all of this. But praise God for our financial donations. Um, I'll put a link below where you can give to the Inspire Church. But message me if you want to go out and buy a bunch of granola bars or beef sticks or whatever it is. We can use them. We use them. We're out twice a month. First Saturday of the month, Havana and Colfax. Third Saturday of the month, downtown Civic Center Park. So, praise God. And as the winter changes, right now, it's nice, warm outside. But in another couple of months, it's going to change. We're going to need beanies. We're going to need clothes. We're going to need blankets, things like that, so that we can provide for the physical need, but most importantly, the spiritual need. I pray this gave you a little insight into 
my mindset and how I <laughs> figured out to put these together. Whatever works for you works. We have other people who put them together. They'll put socks. They'll put the underwear. They'll put all kinds of stuff right in the bag. They're all big. Um, this is just a way that we can keep it light, keep it moving, and say, hey, if you want food, come over here. If you want some toiletries, you can come over here. It's just my way of doing it. I pray this helps you, bless you. Support the Inspire Ministry, our church, our outreach. We need your help. We need your love. We need your prayers, but we also need your support. Thank you. I love you. Have a blessed day and inspire hope in someone today.